Uh, hi, I want to show you a little bit about how to navigate our um, short story writing course. Uh, so when you get to the homepage at yc.edu and you've logged in, you'll see a little paintbrush icon here. This stands for the Canvas Learning Management System. That's what LMS stands for. When you click here, you'll see all of the courses that you're enrolled in this semester. So in CRW 140, which is the short story class, you're going to first be directed to the home page. You won't see this part right here. This is only here because the course isn't yet live. Um, but you'll be directed to this little welcome, glad you're here, you know, place. Um, and you'll see over here, these are all the buttons that you need um, to figure out what's going on in the course. So the next one down is the syllabus, the all-important syllabus. So the syllabus is pretty different in Canvas than it was from Blackboard. Um, it's a dynamic document, and that means that it's changing as things change. So if I update an assignment or if I change a due date, um, it's going to be automatically changed here as well. So right here is a PDF of a document you can download that has all of our policies, um, tone behavior, due dates, um, uh, withdrawal policies, all that sort of stuff are right here. Um, note that all of our due dates are midnight on Friday. Um, so I have organized the class according to weeks, week one, week two, week three, etc. And for our class purposes, they end at midnight Friday. The class does have a no late work policy. Um, so here's what I mean by the dynamic aspect of the course. Um, you can see here that this is um, all of the things that have grades and points assigned to them showing up automatically for you here. It's a really nice document to keep things all in one place. So you can see coming up in our first week, Friday, August 28th, you have a pre-assessment survey, a syllabus quiz, and two discussion boards. Um, in week two, you have an exercise on characterization and a text response discussion board on characterization. Now these are explained more within the various modules, but um, I just wanted to show you any of these things are links, as you can see, they turn, the little hand comes up, and you can always click here to get to where you need to be if you find yourself getting lost and you're like, oh my god, something's due this week, I know it is. Come to your syllabus, look and see, notice how these are all Fridays, Friday, 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 and over here we've got 11.59 p.m. So on things like assignments, the assignment link will go away, you won't be able to submit work late. So you should be um, always planning and understanding where um, where you need to be for any given week. And I hope I've made it pretty clear. So um, Canvas organizes things according to modules, and these are the modules over here. If you click right there, you'll see that you can see right now five modules, weeks one through five. You will see more um, modules um, later on in the semester, but I didn't want to bombard you with everything all at once. So right here, week one, ending Friday, August 28th at midnight, Week 2, ending Friday, September 4th at midnight. Um, everything goes just like this throughout the entire semester. So you'll see each week has instructions. Week 1 instructions, week 2 instructions, week 3 instructions, week 4 instructions. These are super important pages to go to. They are where I have given you additional handouts, supplemental reading, directions on what you're supposed to do in discussion boards, um, heads up on big things that are coming up very soon. Um, so don't just jump to the discussion boards, always read the instructions first. So let's take a look here at week one. Welcome. So I'm reminding you again that our weeks end on Fridays and all discussion boards and assignments are due Friday. Then I'm giving you what our required reading is for this week. This is out of the Gotham Writers Workshop Writing Fiction book. Um, and I know um, that you may have a book on order. This is a PDF of this short story in case your book has not arrived yet, but I expect um, that all books would be here by week two. Um, discussion boards. You have two discussion boards this week, our introductory board and the response to this short story. Um, and you can access these boards right here within this module. You don't have to click anywhere else. These handouts help give you some um, ways of looking at short fiction through the lens of a creative writer, and that's our primary framework for the course. Um, and then this is an example of appropriate responses to these stories, so just so you have a, a document to kind of go by um, in the beginning. You also have a syllabus quiz this week and a pre-assessment assignment. And then you'll see here, this is your handy dandy heads up, you have a draft of a short story that's due by the end of week three. And here I've attached the PDF of that assignment, so you want to make sure you click on that. So that's very soon. 
due by the end of week three. The assignment contains all of the details, the maximum page count, the prompts you need to use to work from, and other requirements for that specific assignment. So again, these instruction pages contain everything you need for the week. Sometimes I've uploaded videos, sometimes um, just mp3 audios, um, lots of uh, files, sometimes links to additional reading that might be helpful for you. So do not skip the instructions page. So you don't have to back out of here. You can go right to the next button. And that takes you to the next thing I had in line in the module, which was the discussion board of um, getting to know each other. So this is me, and that's me. Um, and here's the welcome. And here's a little bit about myself. And here's just how you reply. This works like every discussion board on the planet. You come here, you click, you see this, this window opens up. Um, you can attach a file, you can attach a link, you can bold, you can italicize, you can underline, you can change the color, um, you can upload an image, um, all kinds of stuff. If you want to collapse, or expand the replies in the discussion boards, which might come in super handy as more people participate, um, that's where these buttons are right here. So when you're finished typing your response, just click post reply and you're off and running. Um, our discussion boards do all have points assigned to them and discussion boards are worth 20% of your total grade. So you can click here next. Our next discussion board this week, we have, remember we had two, and which was explained in the instructions page, is on the short story Cathedral. I gave you a handout for that in the instructions page, but it's also in your text, Writing Fiction, at the back of the book. Um, on the instructions page, there were um, instructions for how to look at a text through the lens of a writer, which is going to be the purpose of how we discuss the stories in the book as well as how you respond to one another's story drafts. So here are some questions that you might want to consider after reading Cathedral to create your post. Okay, so note here, to receive full credit, your post must be at least 300 words. Same thing, you'll come down here, you'll post a reply, you'll click post reply, and you're done. So at the end of the week on Friday, um, so the following week, I will post a summary response to what you've said and offer some ideas that I had about the story as well. Um, so at first, you'll just be posting um, without hearing from me, but then at the end of the week, I'll compile your questions and ideas with a document for you. Um, click Next, and you'll see you have a syllabus quiz. So right now it says the quiz is locked, and that's because I'm making this video before school starts. Um, but once you're able to get into the course, um, you'll be able to get here. You have five questions. Um, it's due Friday at midnight, August 28th. Um, you can try it twice. Um, and it's just five questions. It's super easy, but it's very important. You need to make sure that you complete the syllabus quiz prior to the due date, um, or I'll withdraw you from the course. This is a way we can make sure that people are actually here and participating and ready to rock and roll. Um, and then the final thing this week is your post-assessment survey. This is also locked until school opens on Monday the 24th, but here's where you will see um, the form to download and fill out and where to attach it. Okay. So let's go back. Modules. Everything you need to know is under Modules. So let's just kind of peek ahead. Week 2. Our instructions for Week 2. Pretty awesome. Heads up. Your story draft is due by the end of the week. Um, more handouts to read. This is me talking to you. Uh, required reading. This is an external link. These are some PDFs. And then this is reading out of the textbook. Um, you have two discussion boards, an exercise board, and a text response board. Here I'm explaining to you the peer review component on these exercise boards. It's a little bit different. Those of you who have been with me before in other classes, um, Canvas does this differently. So we're all kind of learning a lot this semester together. I've also uploaded a guide from Canvas on how to work with peer review notifications um, that will be helpful for you. And then some more important videos from me about why you're doing a draft so early and um, why you should not stress about it and have fun. Um, how to look at fiction through the lens of craft. And then this is um, a four-part video from Ira Glass on storytelling. And if you haven't watched this video, 
um, this series of videos. It's super interesting and well worth your time. So a couple things also to know. If you ever need help, click here on the help button and it'll take you to a window where you can select uh, outside Canvas help, ex internal YC help, all kinds of different options. But there's lots of resources on um, the Canvas website to help you. And I have posted um, the Canvas student guide in your welcome letter. You'll be able to check your grades here. So right now I'm just enrolled as a test student, so you won't, like your name would be right here. And this is everything in the class that has points assigned. You can see the number of points that there are right over here. And when I grade them, the grade will show up right here. This I think is a little bit simpler than Blackboard. Um, and then people. This is everyone in the course. So yay! You can see who's around. Um, so let's go back and review your home page and I'll be changing this out throughout the semester. Um, everything you need to know. I may also be sending out announcements. They will get sent to the places where you have selected to be notified. Um, syllabus is here. Okay, remember this is a dynamic document, so if you find yourself getting lost, we all kinds of cool things right there. And then this is the heart of the course here, the modules. Everything you ever needed to know about CRW 140 lives in the modules. So we have our instructions. That's where you always go first each week. Instructions, instructions. And then you can move through chronologically. Um, you don't have to move through chronologically, but you can. Okay. Notice here, these are the links for you to submit your story draft. Story draft is due the end of week three. You have access to submit it starting in week two. Okay. So um, you have plenty of time to get it in before the deadline. And that's the way it will be for every major assignment. You'll have access to the link approximately two to three weeks prior to the deadline. So it'll never just be one day where you have to make sure you get online to turn anything in. And that is the nuts and bolts of our course. Um, Canvas is new to the entire college this semester, so we're all kind of learning as we go. Um, and we're hoping um, that this is going to be a big improvement for everybody over Blackboard. Um, so have a good time. Take a deep breath. Um, remember, most important button right here is your modules. Everything is here. Don't skip the instructions page. Don't skip the instructions page. One more time. Don't skip the instructions page. All right. Well, I'm so looking forward to getting to know you when the semester starts. And um, have a fantastic rest of your day.